All right, let's see what we've got next. Miss Laura Coyle is a return instructor for Creative Pro Week. She's an amazing illustrator, super talented creative, and I think you guys will love what she's got to share next. Laura, let's take a look at your Three Minute Max. Hi guys, I'm so excited to be part of Three Minutes Max this year, although I heard we get five minutes this time, right? Nope. No? Okay. Well, here we go. I'm in Adobe Illustrator and I want to talk about recolor artwork. And it's perfect for this art here because I want to change this green and change all of the other shades and tints simultaneously to a whole different color. And recolor artworks can get this done for us really quickly. However, if I just go in and select everything and then go up to the recolor artwork button, you can see Illustrator has detected 57 colors in this art. That's just way too many to deal with. So I'm going to cancel out of here and instead we're going to be more selective and we're going to use the magic wand tool. All right, so I'll get that from the tool panel here and I'll just click on one of these middle green shades here and I see I'm getting a lot of the green here except for the background. Now the great thing about the background is it was made with a freeform gradient and when Adobe Illustrator introduced those freeform gradients last year, you couldn't use them with recolor artwork, but you can now. So that's a great reason to upgrade. So I'm gonna hold shift and then grab this background, adding it to my selection by clicking. Now I'll go to recolor artwork and we can see 19 colors and looks like most of them are green, except for these few down here. But you can take them out of the recoloring equation by clicking on their little arrows and you see the arrowheads disappear. And this just tells Illustrator not to recolor these colors. Now I can go over to the edit color wheel and this is where you can spin all of these colors around. But if you just grab one here and start moving, you're only doing individual colors. So you want to lock your colors together first if you want to keep them in this arrangement. So I'm going to go up to this little eyedropper and click to reset my colors to where we started. Now click on this lock icon here. And when you do this, you can start spinning this grouping of colors around and you can see how it just preserves the nice relationship between all of the different tints and shades in this artwork. So I just love working this way. Now here's another tip. Right now, as I'm spinning around, I'm holding the shift key because when you don't hold shift, just normally you're going to be accidentally moving these in and out. It's very hard to move uh, this grouping here without drifting in or drifting out, and that's going to change the saturation of the color you're dragging. All right, so I've found my new color combination here. All I need to do is click OK, and we're done. That was pretty quick. So my three tips for using recolor artwork are, one, use the magic wand tool, two, click on arrows and recolor artwork to protect them from recoloring, and three, lock your colors together in the edit color wheel and hold shift to keep them from moving around. All right, there it is. I've been using Illustrator for 20 years. Why have I not been working this way? What total mind blown. What an amazing tip on how to recolor your artwork. And I, I've never turned off the arrowheads. I thought it was just part of the interface telling us to go over to the, oh man, every year I learn something new from these amazing instructors and their three minute max tips. Just when you think, hey, I've been using it forever. I, I know most of the, no, really great job, Laura.